moron! Hey, moron! Duh! Look at me! I'm the Wawa Water Boy, duh! Hello, good people. Um, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I am rather embarrassed right now, and um, I've been busted. And this is really embarrassing. Um, wow. And I'm getting called out for this. And I am issuing an apology because I, I, I have to be the first one to admit when I'm wrong. So, you know, this off season, I want, want you to understand, this off season has been hard. It's been brutal. You know, um, listening to Eagle fans after – they literally collapsed, and you figured it's going to be a quiet off season and stuff. Howie Roseman goes out there signing people left and right, and it's just been. I, I I'm honestly trying to think of any good news we've had uh, this off season. I'm going to say at least Eric Kendricks, a 32 year old linebacker, who dissed San Francisco and came to Dallas for less money that that that's probably the highlight of this off season, but it's been so much negativity that it's just been bad. I don't know that this is going to rank as bad as, uh, the off season two years ago, but it's been bad. And so, you know, it's been so bad that I have a hard time sleeping at night. You know, I'm Mr. Optimist and I'm trying to find good things to say and bring to you guys to help you guys feel better with the stress of the Cowboys world on my back. And so I'm laying there in bed last night, you know, my beautiful bride beside me, she's passed out sleeping and I can't sleep just thinking about the Cowboys and what the season's going to mean and things like that. And it's three Oh one. I'm laying there and I'm looking at the ceiling and I hear, you know, <laughs> Somebody's texting me. Somebody's texting me at 3.01 in the morning. And I get this message. Good morning, good morning. The early bird gets the worm. From Philly 500. And then it's a link to a YouTube video. It was at 3.01 a.m. It's like, I, I, literally, literally, I, I can't even sleep at night now without your eagles, you know, messing with me at Freaking 301 in the morning. I, I'm there laying there and this looking at the ceiling alone in my own thoughts and my cowboy's misery. And here it is, you feel like I'm, you're gonna sit here and text me at 301. What is wrong with you, dude? What happened to the times where you looked and you said, It's you know, after eight o'clock, we're not gonna call somebody this late. They're probably spending time with their family, or maybe they're going to bed. 301. But I guess it was that big. Now now let me let me explain to you what happened where this is just embarrassing. So yesterday, you know, after dealing with all of oh, wrong one, after dealing with all of this stuff, I'm sitting here, I'm down in the workshop, you know, and, and, and my phone, you know, it gets a notification at Philly, cause I'm subscribed to Philly 500. I, maybe I need to unsubscribe and I get this. And when you look at it, the, the title Breaking Eagle sign explosive wide receiver explanation point, and then it looks like a lightning bolt. Wow, with another explanation point, Howie is building a monster. So let, let's just start this out. I just breaking just... news, breaking news. The Eagles had another wide receiver, and there is no doubt Howie Roseman is building a monster. Okay, so we've all been here before with Philly 500 that literally every time 
that they sign somebody, it's the greatest player of all time. When they, remember, I don't know if you remember when, when they signed Kevin Bayard. You know, we got the best safety in football. So I went on the whole kick of, here we go. The Eagles signed somebody that is going to be the greatest player of all time. Blah, 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 blah. And I didn't watch his video. I, I, just, I just couldn't. I just couldn't because, you know, he... he I, I just couldn't, okay? I just assumed. And you know when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. So here's where Philly 500 sent me a video at 3 a.m. in the morning. Cowboy fans gone crazy, jealous of Eagles, hearing things and losing their minds. This is the Philly 500 who is a ding bat. And I'm listening to the breaking news. Eagles sign, you know, speedy wide receiver. <coughs> and, you know, it's the greatest receiver of all time. Uh, I think this is a, a very solid signing. Uh, and the reason I like it the most is because it provides flexibility while being an upgrade uh, to Quez Watkins. You would have thought the way Philly 500 is going crazy that this was Jerry Rice in his prime. I'm being, I'm being serious. I, I shit you not. I shit you not. Very, very good signing for the Eagles. And it's not, you know, it's not going to be a game changer. Or it's not going to be anything like that. But I, I do think that Paris Campbell is an upgrade over Quez Watkins. Or not, you know, he goes on about this is like, yeah, you know, like it's Jerry Rice. I, 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 Philly, slow your roll down. And Campbell could end up being your fourth wide receiver. This could happen. Um, I love this move uh, because it doesn't overcommit you to where you're overpaying for a slot wide receiver and you have to say, no, no, he has to be the guy. We can't justify giving him all this money. Uh, no, it gives you the flexibility. If there's somebody that you think is better, if you, there's somebody that you think is going to be better and he's the best player, more importantly, the best player on your board, uh, you you can still take them, and it's not going to kill you. You're not going to eat a bunch of money. I can't imagine Campbell is getting all that much money. The you would have thought the way Philly 500 is going crazy. The music he put with there. That this was uh, Jerry Rice in his prime. I'm being, I'm being serious. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, real hate, man. That's like an art form, man. You know, it's like you like a born a hater, you know, like myself, man. You know, a lot of cats think they hate, but, man, I mean, I'm mad. You know, I'm mad at everything, man. You know, man, brother got a nice car, man. Why you got a car, man? I only got one car. Why you got why you got three cars or a wife or all that, man? I mean, that's played out, man. I hate on it till he's totally broke. It, it, it ain't got nothing like me, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, that's what real hating is all about, man. That's what real hating's all about, man. We're broke, okay? Why they got, you know, three more free agents and we ain't got one, man? I mean, I'm just player hating, man. So, lesson learned. Don't comment about a video if you haven't watched it. I'm going to remember this because I literally look like a jackass. I look like the Dallas Cowboys do right now. And that's sad. All right, good people. I appreciate you. And I'm just going to go keep living in my misery. <sighs> Peace.